Is the good news of the gospel even necessary if I'm a good person? Well, stick around because today we're going to look at Romans chapter 5 and talk about the free gift of salvation. Hey there, my name is Wayne Riz, and on this channel we are walking the journey towards Jesus together. You can subscribe to join our community and get a new Bible study video every Tuesday. Last week we celebrated my son's ninth birthday, and there was a party with friends and cake pops and candles and cake pops and gifts. Now I may have had six cake pops, which sounds excessive, yes, but in reality it's like having one and a half pieces of cake. And you wouldn't give a guy a hard time for having one and a half pieces of cake, would you? Of all the presents that Josiah got, he didn't pay for any of them. The Lego sets, the Predator drone, the Kraft Mac and Cheese that my parents used to disguise the fact that they got him a card with money in it. All of these were free gifts to him. But they were free to him because somebody else had paid for them. Let's look at Romans chapter 5 verses 8 through 11. But God demonstrates his own love towards us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Much more than having now been justified by his blood, we shall be saved from the wrath of God. For if while we were enemies, we were reconciled to God through the death of his son, much more having been reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. And not only this, but we also exult in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have now received the reconciliation. These verses tell us that we were sinners, enemies of God. Now, enemy is a pretty strong word, but we must realize that our sin separates us from God. When we choose to live only for ourselves, it sets us up as enemies of God. Now, the good news of the gospel isn't necessary unless we're willing to admit that we are sinners. The journey with Jesus starts when we admit our need for a savior. God loved us while we were enemies. God's love for us doesn't depend on being nice enough or being a good enough person. There is nothing we can do to earn God's love. But because of the price that Christ paid on the cross, we are made right with God. Verse 11 says that we have received reconciliation. Our relationship with God is restored. This is a free gift to us by grace, through faith. But sometimes when something is free to us, we don't place the value on it that we should. Sometimes we don't think about the price that someone else paid for a gift that is freely given to us. The gift of salvation and a restored relationship with God is only free to us because of the price that Christ has paid on the cross. Christ lived as a human, was beaten and tortured, and laid down his life to pay for the free gift of salvation offered to us. The gift is only free because somebody else paid the price. Thank you so much for checking out the video today. If you liked it, you can hit the thumbs up button. You can share it with your friends and family. And remember, you can subscribe to join our community. Let me leave you with this question. You can discuss with a friend, a parent, or a pastor and answer in the comments below. What does it mean that we were enemies of God? There are a few more questions for discussion below that I would encourage you to check out. And we'll see you later, alligator. I forgot the list of presents. For if we were enemies, we were. Ah. I don't know my next line. <laughs> or because. But because of the. Cro but. To subscribe, click on the circle on the left. To check out a friend's channel, click that circle on the right. To watch a video that YouTube thinks you should watch, click that box in the middle. And if you want to learn more about supporting me on Patreon, click the link in the description.